We're live. All right, guys. Happy Friday, everyone. I'm Dr. Jim Stepani, here to start the weekend off right. And it's a big weekend because Monday is the 4th of July, as we call it here in the United States. Obviously, it's the 4th of July everywhere, but it's so big in the American culture that day because it's our Independence Day that we just call it the 4th of July. So we're not just partying on Monday. It actually starts today, and there'll be barbecues, pool parties, beer drinking all weekend long. Now, also starting today, we're celebrating nine years, the gym birthday, guys. Nine years, happy birthday. That's when we officially launched Gym Supplement Science with just uh, pre-gym as our flagship uh, product in July of 2013. So with the nine-year celebration starting today, we have up to 35% off on the Gym Supps site. So check that out for all your uh, gym supplement savings. You can stock up now. In addition, back by popular demand, new and improved is Cookies and Cream Pro Gym. You may remember uh, this one. This is one of the flavors that I originally launched when Pro Gym came out. Uh, what was that? Just around 2000, early 2014 is when Pro Gym actually launched. Um, we had Cookies and Cream, Vanilla, uh, and the uh, chocolate cookie crunch is our flavors and then s'mores, of course. But um, this is one that we sort of sunsetted for a while, but now we're bringing it back. Give it a try. It is now, like I said, better than ever. And if you get it now, while we're having the birthday sale through uh, the 14th of July, you'll get up to 35% uh, off. Now, I'm here to talk about my Summer Shred Challenge because it's July 1st, right? And that's officially summer here uh, in the United States. Fourth of July weekend really uh, signifies uh, that we're fully into summer, which means it's time for Summer Shred Challenge, and this one gets extreme. So if you remember my uh, Super Shredded 8 program, for this, we're using, we're using it's a modified or an extreme version of Super Shredded 8. We're calling XS8. Say that one 10 times real fast. Let me tell you uh, in all the promo videos that I <laughs> did, I had to repeat that one over and over again. XS8, XS8. Sounds simple, but uh, when you got to say it uh, on camera, it's completely different. So XS8, it's like I said, an extreme version of Super Shredded 8. I'll be breaking that down in the latter half of today's live uh, for those of you who've already signed up because sign up starts today only at jimstepani.com and you have until uh what is it the um 15th to sign up remember when you sign up for jimstepani.com it's not just going to your laptop and getting your workouts and uh, information there. I have an app. I've had an app uh, longer than uh, most fitness sites, uh, before bodybuilding.com even had an app. We had a gymstepani.com app so that you guys can follow the workouts, bring it right to the gym, follow right along, see how to do the exercises. So remember, you're getting that uh, on the app there. You get the meal plan, everything that you know that makes it easy to follow. Now, let's talk about uh, the prizes. Obviously, let me see if there's details here on, no, about what you have to do. But remember, you got to do a before and after photo. And again, when you go to the jimstepani.com, you'll see the banner. Click on, click on the uh, sign up or register now uh, for the program, and it'll take you through all the details. You need to do before and after photo. We do. We ask for weekly update photos uh, as well to track your progress, which is not only uh, helpful for us when we're deciding who made the best overall uh, change and transformation when we're giving the prizes. And I'll get to those prizes in just a minute. But it helps you. It helps you because you track your progress. You can see your, uh, your progress and you have your accountability right there as you're, you're tracking right along. Now, before I get to the cash uh, 
and other prizes. Let me talk about the real prize that you're gonna get with the Summer Shred Challenge. Yes, I've got $25,000 to give away in cash and prizes for this challenge, but what I'm really giving away, guys, literally giving away here is this, okay? Look, look at the transformations uh, that are possible with a few weeks. This is an eight week program, right? And these are all, these are not, and some of these may be 12 weeks at the, at the very longest here, but these are all either six, believe it or not, to 12 week transformations. This is what you get, okay? This is really the grand prize. That $25,000, the prizes and stuff that I'm, I'm dangling, that's the carrot, okay? That's what gets you geared up if you can't find that fire uh, within you to help dangle that carrot. But once you start seeing those changes, and like I said, you're taking those weekly photos, right? You can see the progress and that just fuels you to want to do even go harder and train harder and see uh, even uh, more uh, results. And that's what you end up with is the, is the real grand prize, okay? So everyone, everyone who completes the challenge literally is a grand prize winner. But let's get serious here and talk about the real prizes, the real carrots here that I'm, I'm dangling for you. So first place is, I'm not sure if you can see this, but, and again, go to the website. Uh, you, you can be following me along right here, as a matter of fact. Uh, $10,000 in cash plus a $5,000 luxury uh, resort credit through the four seasons. Second place is $5,000 uh, luxury vacation, again, resort credit in second place. Then we have a third place, which is an Apple Watch in that uh, Traeger Pro grill and smoker for getting all your proteins nice and tasty. And after all, it makes a big difference in what your protein tastes like because you know you need a lot to build enough muscle. Then we have even a fourth place here, which is the Rogue Echo Bike, which I actually have here uh, in the gym, plus a $250 gym uh, subs gift card. We even have a fifth place $500 Gymshark shopping uh, card and a $250 gym subs card. And then sixth place is a $250 uh, supplement card, uh, gym subs card. So, and that'll go to, uh, 10 people, uh, in addition, will receive, uh, a gym subs card for $200. So we have, uh, tons of places so that there's more carrots sort of dangling in front of your faces versus just one, uh, grand prize winner walking away, uh, with everything. So you have more chances to win. But again, guys, again, regardless of what these prizes are, this is, this is what we're talking about right here are these transformations that you'll make. And remember, for those of you tuned in, I just mentioned, uh, we just awarded the uh, Summer Shred Challenge winners amazing, amazing transformations. But as I was saying, this is, it's life changing, right? What you're seeing here is, 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 is physical. But when you really look at the, the faces, it captures so much more. That, that photo captures so much more about what's going on than they're amazing, absolutely amazing, not to take anything away from the body transformations, but the face, okay? That's the, that's the look not only of satisfaction, right? Of, of doing a job well done, but it's confidence, okay? It's the confidence that, that you get. I, I can't emphasize that enough. When you're able, able, to control these sort of things that you're able to control with your diet and your exercise and make appreciable changes, that is so empowering. Trust me, for every other aspect in your life to realize that you can make that change. That's what you're seeing in these faces. And that's literally the gift that I'm giving you guys. You're literally getting this, okay? For it's a, it's, You sign up now for a dollar a month and then it's literally $14 a month, okay? It's 2022, guys. My website is for, still $14 a month. And look what you, you can do with that $14 a month that literally, literally can change your life. Not just because you walk away with the $10,000 or you know, a trip to resort, but look at the difference in, 
in your mindset. Trust me, trust me, it, it, this leaks into every aspect of your life, your professional life, uh, your personal life. You become a better father, better mother, better partner, okay? Better uh, employee when you have that confidence and that fitness lifestyle, right? It does everything, it does, it does everything. So again, there's a lot of uh, cash and prizes to give away with this program, but as long as you complete the program, you've already won. Now, let's break down uh, this program. This is my extreme super shredded eight. So if we go to the original super shredded eight, okay. The Extreme Super Shred today is still based off of this same program, the same concept, which is compound sets, okay? And compound sets are a specific type of superset, okay? And we know what the research shows uh, with supersets doing two exercises back to back with no rest is that it could boost your calorie burn during the workout, but more importantly, after the workout's over, that intensity factor. And that's really where you're burning the most fat and calories, remember, is when the workout is over. So. It's another trick uh, along with changing up your rep ranges, you know, doing heavy, right, and light and all that stuff that, I've, uh, that I taught you. But the original Super Shredded 8, you basically do two Super Set or Compound Set pairs per workout, right? And it's a two-day split. So remember, this may look like low volume, but remember, you're doing this twice a week, okay? And your rest periods drop. Same with the Extreme program, right? Every two weeks the rest periods drop. But there's a few differences with the extreme super shredded eight. So again, with the original, your first superset or compound set, you did a multi-joint exercise for most muscle groups, right? Obviously for biceps, uh, single joint exercise. And then the things for like back where there's barely any single joint exercises except for like straight arm pull downs, um, it's a little different. But for most of the multi-joint uh, movements, uh, for shoulders, for, for chest, for legs, um, and even triceps to a degree, we're going to do a multi-joint followed by a single joint, okay? Again, this is the old one, right? Then we finish with a what we call a pre-exhaust superset where you do a single joint exercise first, then the multi-joint ex exercise second, okay? And then you follow it up with your Tabatas, okay? In between muscle groups, then you move on to shoulders and triceps. With the extreme one, instead of, and this is again chest day, right? So the split stays the same. We're still doing chest, shoulders, uh, triceps, but instead of just two of those compound set setups here we have three now okay so we've got bench press superset reverse grip bench press incline dumbbell fly superset or compound set with the incline dumbbell press and then the low pulley cable crossover superset with the high pulley cable crossover so what we essentially have here versus just more supersets or compound sets is is the pattern here okay so we started off we start off on again most most muscle groups, biceps, right? It's a little bit different. But for most muscle groups where we have a variety of multi-joint and single-joint exercises, we start, our first compound set is two multi-joint exercises while we're the strongest, right? That's when you have the, you, you're, you're not fatigued yet. You come in, that's when you're the strongest. You target those fast twitch muscle fibers with some heavier weight. Multi-joint movements allow you to do heavy weight because there's other assistance muscles helping just the chest, for instance. So you're able to load up more weight, put more overload on that muscle, right? So that's what we start the workout with. Then we move to that pre-exhaust superset, similar to what we see in the last compound set in the original Super Shredded 8, okay? We do an incline dumbbell fly followed by a dumbbell press. So a single joint followed by a multi-joint uh, movement. Um, and the point here, again, is you're fatiguing 
those pec muscles because the multi-joint movement, like I said, you're getting assistance from the shoulders, the triceps, on chest specifically, right? Whereas on the um, <clears throat> incline dumbbell fly, other than some shoulder involvement, it's mainly a single joint exercise, so you're taking the triceps out at least, right? So now the pecs have to do the majority of the work. So what's going on here with pre-exhaust is not that it activates the pec muscles more, it fatigues the pec muscles so that when you're doing that incline dumbbell press and when you hit that last rep, it's not because your triceps fatigued, which is often the case, or shoulders fatigued, which is often the case, which means you left some for the pecs because they didn't get to go to muscle failure, and that is critical. That muscle failure, that fatigue factor, is critical in setting up those biochemical changes within the muscle that are gonna, gonna create muscle <clears throat> growth. So that's our pre-exhaust superset. Then we finish with two single joint exercises, the low pulley cable crossover, hitting more upper pecs, and the high pulley cable crossover, hitting more of the middle and lower pecs is our last Superset. So you're getting a variety there, the compound movements to boost strength, <clears throat> overall muscle mass, that pre-exhaust, and then the, the two single joint exercises. Then, right, we do this twice a week. Then, right, so workout one is chest, shoulders, uh, and tries. Let me just familiar, familiarize you guys with the split again. Again, it's a three-day split. It takes three days to train all the muscle groups, right? The first day we do chest, shoulders, triceps, basically a push day. Then we have a leg day, legs, calves. We throw abs in there as well. And then we have a, basically a pulling day, your backs, your traps, your biceps, uh, and forearms. Then we repeat that, right? Back to chest, shoulders, triceps. However, we don't just repeat the, the workout as is. On workout four now, when we go to chest, we flip the exercise order around on its head, basically. So now, now what we're doing is really a pre-exhaust workout because here we're doing the single joint compound sets first, followed by then that pre-exhaust, but we've, we're already pre-exhausting here with this whole compound set, right? Then we're doing another direct pre-exhaust with the inclined dumbbell press. Then we're finishing up with the bench press and the reverse grip bench press as our last compound set. So you're going to be, uh, you're not going to be using the same weight that you did in workout one when you get to the bench press and reverse grip bench press here because you're going to be fatigued. And like I said, but that's the whole point of the pre-exhaust now, right? This workout this week is not to worry about how much you're using that. You worry about the weight you're using in, in workout one when you do the bench presses first in the workout. Here now, we're taking advantage of that pre-exhaust, okay, the fatigue, not the mechanical overload, right? There's two ways you're gonna induce muscle growth, two main ways. Again, you'll hear me speak out about, we know nothing about muscle growth, okay? But the two main uh, uh, factors that, that stressors that come in to play with muscle growth are mainly mechanical and chemical, okay? So the kick, the mechanical, when you think about it, is like negative reps, that heavy overload, right? It's literally tearing, literally tearing the muscle, pulling the, the, the muscle fibers, right? Tearing and, and causing damage. But then, when you're talking about fatigue and things like that, you're having chemical changes that happen within the muscle fiber, uh, growth factors that get uh, released. There's things called cytokines that control these, the inflama inflammatory process that, that ensues. But these are all critical in creating uh, muscle growth. And so what you're getting here with these two different workouts, the one where you come in and you do the bench press first, right? That's your day for mechanical overload, okay? You're gonna be going the heaviest, right? Then when you come in, you're doing the bench press last in your chest workout, right? And the weight has to be lightened dramatically. Now you're really taking advantage of that, those chemical processes that drive muscle growth. And, you know, that's really uh, sort of the magic of these programs that I create is that you're using the science, right? <laughs> that we know in different ways and, and creating these templates and these workouts that take advantage of what we know, what we know so far about muscle growth and, and trying to push it further all while you're getting leaner with 
the Tabatas, right? So if you're familiar with doing <clears throat> my um, cardio acceleration where you do a set, right? And then you do go into your cardio, do a minute of, of intense cardio, and then back to your set, right? This is a little, this is a diff different because we're using these compound sets. You know, sure, you could do a compound set and do um, cardio acceleration, but for this program, we're doing a little differently. We're throwing still the cardio in within the workout, but it's Tabata style and it's within the muscle groups, right? So with workout one, we're training basically three muscle groups, chest, shoulders, triceps. So within each one of those in between and <clears throat> on the last, at the very end, we're going to be doing Tabata. So we'll be doing here after chest day push-ups with jumping jacks to really finish off uh, the, <laughs> the chest. This is brutal. And these are just suggestions. If you find that you're just dead at the end, you can change these up to your favorite um, Tabata style workouts, right? And then after we do shoulders, before we get to the triceps, we do kettlebell swings with a Smith Machine hang power clean. Again, just suggested exercises. You certainly don't have to do that one. And then after we do triceps, we finish with the dead landmines uh, and the burpees, right? And again, just suggestions. You could literally run in place on, on all these. I do jumping jacks, uh, kettlebell swings for the entire, well, it's, it's, it's up to you as long as you complete the Tabatas, right? And the point of doing it this way, spread out like this, instead of just waiting to the end, right? A lot, of, a lot of people think, well, I'm just gonna wait till the end and do all my Tabatas at the end, which would be fine, but trust me, if you combined all your Tabatas at the end of the workout, not only might that be a little, get a little boring, but you're not gonna be able to go as intense on Tabata number four, okay, as you were on Tabata number one, right? So your intensity is gonna start waning. And with the Tabatas, it's really about the intensity, right? That's, that's what you wanna maintain. By doing it this way, breaking up through the, through the workout, not only is it sort of bringing up the boredom so that I'm lifting weights, now I'm doing the, the Tabata stuff, now back to this, the typical uh, set and rep uh, scheme, then back to the Tabatas. Not only is it breaking it that way for you, but it's allowing you to attack each one of those uh, Tabata sessions with more intensity than if you just group them all together, right? And trust me, and that makes a big difference. The intensity that you're able to put in to your Tabatas is gonna make a huge difference on how much fat burn, how many calories you're burning the rest of the day. The more intense you can go in those Tabatas, the more fat you're gonna burn the rest of the day. So. Trust me, try keeping it broken up like this. Last thing I'll say here, uh, as I think it's getting over 30 minutes, is that the other thing that changes is the rep scheme, okay? So, again, the reps are, are, are similar, very extreme, right? We go all the way as low as 3 to 4, but as high as 26 to 30, okay? Now, in the original Super Shredded 8, every two weeks... A, we dropped rest periods, which you'll see here, right? You're only resting 60 seconds between sets in weeks one and two. Weeks three and four, we're dropping 15 seconds from our rest periods. And that's, that's not, I'm not talking about the rest periods in between the compound sets. I'm talking about after you've done both those exercises, right? After you've done the bench press and the reverse grip bench press, you've got 60 seconds to rest before you're back to doing the bench press and the reverse grip bench press, okay? And again... This has been shown to not only aid fat loss with these shorter rest periods, but to actually aid muscle growth because what you're doing is the, the, the same amount of work basically in less, less time, which is similar to doing more, more work, believe it or not. And, and there's research uh, on this style, dropping rest periods, that actually proves it's not just anecdotal here. But... Every two weeks, the rest periods drop. The original SS8, every two weeks, the rep range has changed. But now in this one, they're going to change every week, much like shortcut to size. So 
on the heavy reps, in the, and we have, remember we have heavy and light for those that have done super shredded eight. The heavy exercises, that's your bench press, your multi-joint, your bench press and your reverse grip bench press for chest, if you remember that workout that I showed you. Those are your heavy reps, right? Those follow a linear periodized scheme. So every week you're getting heavier uh, and heavier, okay? With the way the reps drop, okay? So week one, you're doing nine to 10 on that bench press, reverse grip bench press, and the dumbbell uh, incline press. Then in week two, you increase the weight to put you in that seven to eight rep range. Week three, increase the weight again, five to six. And then in week four, again, increase the weight three to four. Then in week five, you're back to the nine to 10 reps, similar to like shortcut to size, right? Which you'll now be able to use more weight than you did originally with the nine to 10. Okay, now, what is the light reps? The light exercises are your single joint exercises. And, it, and this will change for back, since there's not many single joint exercises, it's mainly uh, pull downs and straight arm pull downs to get the high reps, but it's mainly the single joint for like shoulders and, and chest. So the cable crossovers and the flies, we do the light reps. This pattern, the periodized pattern every week you increase reps, so you decrease the weight unless you're, sometimes you don't have to decrease the weight, you're just getting stronger, right? Your strength endurance is what we call. Your ability to do more weight, uh, more reps of the same weight goes up, which is an adaptation to weight training, right? You're getting stronger, not just on how much you can lift once, but on how much you can lift for um, 12 to 15, you know? So, you're going, uh, from 12 to 15 in week one, 16 to 20, 21 to 25, up to 30 reps in week four, and then it repeats back down to 12 to 15. And again, when you get back to this, even with the reverse linear, you're going to find just how much stronger uh, you are with, even though it's lightweight, and I say stronger, but your ability to lift more weight to get those 12 to 15 reps. Uh, and it repeats. And so what you see here, for those who've done any, uh, for the, my personal trainers out there who've designed programs, what, what you're doing here is you're combining this linear periodization with reverse linear periodization within the same, same workout. So again, you see these uh, combinations, like I said, the flipping of the workout pattern, the, the different periodized schemes, right? the dropping of the rest periods, the Tabatas between the muscle groups. These all call on different things we've learned from science to help with muscle growth, getting strength, even though that's not the main, um, the main goal of this program, but I certainly don't want you guys getting weaker, right? Uh, and that's why most people find that when they do these programs, they're getting leaner, they're also getting stronger while they're gaining muscle at the same time. So. But that is uh, just to give you guys a quick gist of the program and what's sort of involved and why, why this one, whether it's the original Super Shredded 8, which also uses a lot of these same uh, principles, and the Extreme Super Shredded 8, why they work so well. And you'll hear a gym army member after gym army member talk about the results they get when they do Super Shredded 8. And that's the one that so many people go back to whenever they want to get re ready for summer or, or, or for a wedding or whatnot. Here I am giving it to you now and dangling some carrots for you that are not just, not just, that transformation that you're definitely going to get, okay? <laughs> I give you everything, guys. All you have to do is put in the work, okay? If you put in the effort, I promise you similar results. Promised. Guaranteed. Similar results. If you follow the program and put in the work, right? You're already a winner. Then, on top of that, you've got the chance at winning even more for all your hard work, not just, like I said, that transformation in the physique, the transformation in your mindset and how it changes your entire life, but you actually get a little extra cash or prizes. So I'll shut up now and let you guys go get familiar with the program, right? I'm going to start this 
uh, on Monday. So whoever's ready to go this Monday, you'll be starting uh, and breaking this thing down uh, right along with me. Uh, training right in uh, <clears throat> real time with me. So for those of you studying Monday, but like I said, you don't have to start on Monday. You've got time. You can sign. You've got two weeks, basically. You've got till the 15th uh, to sign up at jimstepani.com. That's the only place uh, that you can sign up. You'll get access, like I said, not just to the Super Shredded 8 and Extreme Super Shredded 8 for the Summer Shred Challenge, but you get access to the entire website, all my programs, all the articles, the, the, the different videos that teach all types of topics from supplements to health, right, to training uh, tips and research uh, breakdown, all there. And again, like I said, you get to try it out now for a dollar a month or for the paying members, they'll tell you $14 a month it's a steal. You get all that and you get to automatically, there's nothing extra for joining the challenge. Paying members get to just enter right into the challenge uh, completely free. There's no additional fee. So it's, like I said, all you have to do is get the membership you're paying, not just for this program, right? There's a lot of experts who are selling you programs, just single programs for a lot more than this. I'm giving you not only this program, right? And the chance to win this, but the entire website. Okay. So check it out. JimStepani.com. I will uh, shut up now and let you guys, like I said, get your before uh, photos, familiarize yourself with the program, familiarize yourself uh, with the nutritional program, the diet, uh, if you will, and then get that mindset to put in the work and crush every one of these workouts and I can guarantee, I can't guarantee you the $10,000 and, and the grand prize and the, the trip, the $5,000 trip, but I can. The, the, these people did nothing, trust me, nothing magical other than follow what I precisely told them to do. And that's, that's what happened. So if that's what you're interested in, guys, you have till the 15th to sign up, jimstepani.com. Let's do this, guys. Let's uh, make this the summer of shred. Who's going to win it? Is it going to be you? Is it going to be you? Is it going to be you? Or is it going to be you? I can't wait to find out, and I can't wait to see the transformations. I love how proud you guys make me. You really uh, wow me. So looking forward to it. Again, guys, thank you for training with me, and thanks for always being Jim Army Strong. I'll see you soon.